Okay, uh, in this video, uh, we're going to be essentially measuring um, the uh, the lash cap. Um, I did a .060 lash cap on the um, uh, cam lobe, the high pressure fuel pump uh, lobe lifter. So that added .060 thickness to the uh, top of that lifter, and uh, that is because I am using a 32% um, Vengeance Racing tri-lobe cam, and uh, that .060 lash cap is required to set uh, an additional preload on the uh, high pressure fuel pump. So um, the main thing, uh, what happens when these, uh, when you use lash caps on the wrong uh, fuel lobe, uh, you get too much travel distance in the uh, in the uh, high pressure fuel pump and essentially what happens is it'll bottom out and destroy the high pressure fuel, fuel pump. So the way to check that and make sure that this is not bottom amount, bottoming out is uh, there's several ways. Um, the way that I'm using, the technique I'm using since we have the engine out um, is uh, Andrew's going to actually turn the crank, uh, turn the motor over uh, uh, several revolutions and I'm going to push down with just hand, some basic uh, hand force uh, to close the gap. And when she rotates the crankshaft, if it bottoms out, it will lift this assembly up off of the uh, off of the uh, front uh, top engine cover. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, and uh, we'll see if we get any lift on that at all. And I'm just using hand pressure. And if you go ahead and rotate. Okay. And if that if that lash cap was too thick and this lifter bottomed out the high pressure fuel pump, no question it would lift up my hand because I'm not using tons of force. Now I'm kind of letting off a little bit. Um, if you turn it some more, you can see now without the preload, um, you'll see it move it a little bit if, if she turns it. Um, that's because you want to set some initial preload on that. Um, but the trick is just to make sure that it does not bottom out the high pressure fuel pump. And uh, with the gasket on there, that's important. You want to make sure that uh, the gasket's on there because that is, uh, I think, a .010 thickness gasket, something like that. Um, anyway, with it all on there, we've done this several times already. Uh, in fact... Um, I've actually cranked the bolts down, um, and when you install a high pressure fuel pump, you want to make sure that you crank the bolts down evenly, so you don't bind, um, the lifter assembly. Um, when we get those all the way down, tight, um, we can also turn the crank over, um, go ahead and do another revolution. And uh, when you're turning the crank, when you have a short block out, you can feel if there's any binding. I mean, it all turns over very smoothly. So this is a, this is a different way of actually checking, and that's an option. Um, this is a good way of checking to make sure that there's enough um, lash adjustment in here to where there it sets initial preload, which is important. You don't want to be no preload because then there will be a little bit of a ticking or banging noise in there. Um, <clears throat> and then also making sure, which is critically important, that it does not bottom out the high pressure fuel pump. So um, that's uh, basically how you check that uh, in the video. Thank you.